morning and welcome to this week's collective worship. God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Our Bible verse for this week is from James, verses 1 and 2. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes scattered among the nations, greetings. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds. This week, we're thinking about telling the whole truth. Let's listen to a famous fable by Aesop. There was once a shepherd boy who was bored as he sat on the hillside watching the village sheep. To amuse himself, he took a great breath and sang out, Wolf! Wolf! The wolf is chasing the sheep! The villagers came running up the hill to help the boy drive the wolf away. But when they arrived at the top of the hill, they found no wolf. I promise there was a wolf, the boy smirked at the sight of their angry faces. Don't cry wolf, the shepherd, shepherd boy, said the villagers, when there's no wolf, and they went grumbling back down the hill. Later, the boy sang out again. Wolf! Wolf! The wolf is chasing the sheep! To his naughty delight, he watched the villagers run back up the hill to help him drive the wolf away. But when the villagers saw no wolf, they sternly said, Save your fright and song for when there is really something wrong. Don't cry wolf when there is no wolf! But the boy just grinned and watched them go grumbling down the hill once more. Later, he saw a real wolf prowling around his flock. Alarmed, he leapt to his feet and sang out as loudly as he could. Wolf! Wolf! But the villagers thought he was trying to fool them again, and so they didn't come. And at sunset, everybody wondered why the shepherd boy hadn't returned to the village with their sheep. They went up the hill to find the boy, and they found him there weeping. There really was a wolf here. The flock has scattered, and I cried out, Wolf, why didn't you come? An old man tried to comfort the boy as they walked back to the village. We'll help you look for the lost sheep in the morning, he said, putting his arm around the youth. But nobody believes a liar, even when he is telling the truth. This story is about a boy who was trusted by the villagers at first, but who soon got into difficulty when people realised that they could not trust him. Let's sing our hymn, O Jesus I Have Promised.
made a promise that you couldn't keep or had a promise made to you that wasn't kept. How did that make you feel? We all want to be able to trust people to tell the truth and to keep their promises. We particularly expect our families, friends and those who care for us to tell the truth. However, we are all let down at some point and we all let other people down sometimes. We are all guilty of breaking promises. Let me show you something. This piece of paper. All these creases in the paper now, this is similar what happens when we break our promises. And as much as we can try and iron out the, the creases, we've spoilt something that was good. We have to use our high five values to say sorry for our mistake and hope thereby to smooth out our fault by asking for forgiveness. But the paper is never going to be the same again. Breaking promises has consequences. A broken promise can lead to feelings like, I can't trust you. I'm disappointed in you. I feel unimportant to you. I don't respect you anymore. It's good to remember that the person who breaks the promise never usually means to hurt somebody else. Perhaps the promise was made in a rush without really thinking about the consequences. Perhaps something came up that made it impossible for the person to carry out what they had promised. And if we can tell the promise breaker how we feel and give them a chance to apologise, this is really helpful. But sometimes though, we just have to accept that people will let us down, even those closest to us. Then. We can choose to forgive them, because we all break promises sometimes. However, when we do, it's really important to admit that we were wrong and ask for forgiveness. But if anyone ever hurts us, we should always tell somebody we trust, no matter whether somebody makes us, a promise, makes us promise not to say anything at all. There are some things that we should never keep secret. Christians believe that God always keeps his promises. Some of the promises that are recorded in the Bible are God will always love us, God will never leave us, God cares for us, and God will always be with us in prayer. Let's take a moment to be still and speak to God. And if you agree with the words I say, you can say Amen at the end. Dear God, please help us to keep our promises. Please help us to be people who tell the truth. Please help us to be people whom others can trust. Help us to forgive people who let us down. Thank you that you keep your promises. Thank you that you will always love us. Amen. Thank you for listening. I'll see you again soon.